All right, so there's a, a good thing you should know about. It's called biological gas or biogas. Uh, it's, it's basically methane that comes off a rotting uh, deatrice. So in the past it was hard to get one of these. Um, there's another company called Home Biogas, um, but this is this is uh, another company called Puxin or Puxin. Uh, they're huge uh, in China. They're a big, big deal, and so uh, they're selling on Amazon now. This is their uh, one of their. Not the smallest model, not their biggest model. It's the one I'm interested in. And uh, I'll, I'll put a, uh, an affiliate link on this later when I edit this video. But um, I just want to go through it because a lot of people don't know what biogas is. And um, I think this would help some folks. If they, if they knew what to even ask. Or knew, sometimes you need to know the questions to ask. Um, there's some of the dimensions. So this is pretty pretty sizable. With biogas, basically the bigger your gas bag, the more runtime you have. Um, and I'd like to show some better pictures here. You know, I, think, I think I can do it through this here. Click on. Yeah. So ba basically, right there, you put in your kitchen scraps and your your animal doo doo and whatever you got, plant cuttings and stuff. And this this is like a garbage disposal, American garbage disposal, and it turns it into a a, a gravy. And then that goes into the gas bag where bacteria eat the gravy and uh, turn it into uh, methane and some other things. And the methane it has to go through another, I think, a cleaning deal. But for the most part, it's simple and reliable as long as your temperatures are, are uh, decent. And that's the idea of the, um, the outer the outer uh, case it's like a little greenhouse it keeps the temperatures a little, little, little more constant and that's something um, the home biogas company they seem to be more for Mediterranean and, and uh, Near East Middle East uh, pursuits because I don't think last I checked it's been a while but they didn't have an outer enclosure and so if you're in a, in a situation where uh, temperatures get a little chilly you'll want an outer enclosure for sure and probably a little uh, electric heater for your gas bag um, so uh, when you get it I've seen some of their videos when you get it you gotta do a lot of assembly but if you can get that done you'll be alright um, that's the ventilation pipe there. What else? There's some more dimensions. And, they, and they're niches, too. It's good for the American uh, audience. So, um, let's see here. So you have your food waste. It goes through the, the, the shredder. Or, well, this is like a a blender for the, the smaller version I think you get a blender and for the bigger version you get a garbage disposal um, yeah, disposer so it's basically a blender or a disposer turns it into a gravy and I'm testing that with tongue-in-cheek you won't want this gravy uh, put some pet feces and livestock manure in there to, for that gravy and then um, 
uh, basically, the, this is their smaller version, I think. Uh, the portable. Um, so, anyway, the bacteria eat that that gravy slop and, and make out that make that bad methane gas, which is burnable like natural gas or propane. And it's called biogas, and then it looks like it goes through some attenuators and filters and things, and then. Um, you can have your little burner, a little gas burner, cook your food. And then the byproduct is fertilizer you can put on your plants. Uh, the byproduct beyond the gas. And then obviously the animals eat the plants and then recirculate. So, um,. The uh, the biogas is big in Africa because the the climate is pretty nice and warm. They got a lot of animal feces, and uh, they need have need to have a source of cooking fuel. And there's not always a lot of wood, so um, biogas is awesome. And you know they enjoy that. Uh, and, and there's been a lot of biogas systems in. Uh, Africa and China and, and uh, India and I imagine Pakistan as well because it works and it's cheap right so um, I wanted people to know about this who didn't know about it uh, there's different books you can get how to do your do your do it yourself but uh, when I get around to doing it I'm gonna actually just get a kit that's proven to work and uh, and run it because I uh, DIY saves you money, but doesn't always save you time. And I, my time right now is, is desperate. Like you can tell by the quality of this video, I don't even have time to edit or get a proper camera or whatever. But I wanted to let my subscribers know about this, and whoever does an internet search and get some more input, because Americans are. Uh, pretty prosperous uh, as far as uh, cooking gas and they haven't really understood broadly that there's other options besides natural gas and propane and, and uh, it's called white gas uh, I haven't seen I saw had a white gas iron for iron and clothes that was an antique I don't know anything about that currently um, but a lot of folks, you, you say biogas, and they're they're like, they don't know anything. So hopefully, this will give you a little more, um, a little more uh, uh, information. And the other co the other company, um, uh, it's out of Israel. It's called Home Biogas, and they they'll ship it to you too. But I don't see them here on Amazon. Uh, I could, I could look real good, real quick. Maybe they are. I don't know. We'll, I'll, I'll confirm that. Um. Yeah, they don't come up. So they haven't done the Amazon thing. But uh, this is a this is a one step down. It's a little smaller. It's portable though. So if you're if you're moving around a lot, that might be an option. But it comes with a little burner, and, and I think the other one does too, and some other connections and things. So there's other options for size-wise. But in general, if you want runtime, you want a bigger bag. Yeah, it's a lot of the same stuff. So, yeah, just a quick video talking about biogas and um, where you can get it. Uh, it's Sorry, i got to get going to work here. So anyway, um, now you can get from this uh, this Puxin or Puxin place. You can get um, you can now get uh, biogas. The even my computer is getting too hot right now. I gotta turn my fan back on. A big box fan here. So yeah. Just so you know, uh, the 
hope that that's a pretty good video. So I'll put it. I'll put an affiliate link uh, when I edit this video later. If you guys see it beforehand, that's because, um, yeah. But anyway, I'm having issues, obviously. All right. Thanks so much.